For those of you who just tuned in, I'm Samti. I'm an owner builder. I'm putting a tiny house in my backyard. I'm really trying to create generational wealth here. And if you watched the last video, you'll see everything that I've been going through and what's been happening with my project. But if you could see back there, we made progress. Come on, let, let, me, let me show you guys what's been done. Like I stated in my last video, my original foundation company who prepped the slab ran off with $2,500 of the deposit. And I had to find a, a new foundation company to take over the project. And honestly, it's been a blessing because my foundation company now is more efficient and more professional and they do better work. And I've been learning so much from this process. Let me show you guys how a site is supposed to be prepped before it's poured. So if you've seen in my first video, it wasn't, it wasn't strong. Like the, the framing for the, the prep of the foundation wasn't strong and it didn't look like this. And in my last video, the plumbing wasn't done because I had plumbers who didn't keep their word or finish the project out. But if you could see now, we're in a better state. The plumbing is done. So as you can see, everything looks nice like everything looks good but i got some more bad news we failed the first inspection and the reason why we failed the first inspection is not because the work that was done for the plumbing it was because of my original plumbers that was overseeing the job they didn't put the right things on the permit so when the inspector came he failed us because he said that things was missing on the permit like my city is giving me a hard time to finish out this project but we're not going to get discouraged because we're going to eventually get everything done and do what we need to do. So if you see, if you come here, I want to show you guys everything that's been done so far. If I'm not mistaken, this is where my water heater is going to go. This is the shower. This is the toilet. This is the bathroom sink. This is the kitchen sink. And then this is the laundry machine. This is where my laundry machine is going to go. So a lot's been going on. Like I said in my last video, the owner of the plumbing company took over the project. So he started overseeing everything. And then we started making progress. So I think I made the right decision there. And the inspector said that the water line needed to be 12 inches deep and it wasn't. So let me show you guys what's been fixed and hopefully we pass the next inspection. So the plumbers came back out and they undug the water line, dug it 12 inches deeper and made it to code so we could pass inspection. So if you see here, the water line is now 12 inches and that's what my city said it needed to be. So I took a tape measure and I measured it and this should pass inspection because it's 12 inches deep now. The white water line is gonna feed into a red water line and a blue water line. The red is hot and the blue is um, the Bruce Cold, and that's going to be in the main building for the tiny house. So this is the water line. Hopefully we pass inspection and we move along with this project. So one of the problems I had with the sewer originally was I felt like there was dips in the sewer and the, a subcontractor came out and said that this sewer isn't going to work correctly, but now the plumbers fixed it. And I think this is more efficient. So if you see, this is the way the current sewer looks and I think it's going to pass inspection because I want to move on with this project and keep building generational wealth and inspiring the next generation that they could do things like this. So if you guys look here, this is the sewer line. This is where the waste and the water is going to come from and it's going to shoot into my main house because my city wants everything to go through the main sewer line. So if you can see, this is the sewer. Honestly, I don't want to work forever. So I want to leverage my money and put it into assets like tiny houses, just businesses to eventually where I don't have to work and I can sustain my, myself without a job. So I want to show you guys more about the sewer line. Because my, the way I see it, though, is like, what's the point of just working and working to pay off bills, to work, to pay off bills, and you don't really get to enjoy the fruits of your labor? So I'm really just trying my best to do what I need to do to stop working a job and just fully work for myself. So this right now, where we are with the project is we didn't do too much stuff. Like there's still going to be a lot of roadblocks, a lot of problems and a lot of issues we're going to face. But I'm going to try my best to be fully transparent with you guys and just take you guys along this journey while I fail 
and while I win and accomplish certain things I want to do in my own life. But hopefully you learn from my mistakes and you're able to one day do something like this too. But if you could see here, this is the sewer line, like I was, like I was mentioning. And what's going to happen here is all the water from the, from the shower and from the toilet is going to come from here and it's going to shoot out to this basin. We're going to then have a grinder pump in here and the grinder pump is going to shoot the waste to the main sewer. But yeah, honestly, this is the update. I just wanted to give you guys an update where the project is currently. And honestly, I'm happy. It took a lot of months to get here. It took a lot of thinking, speaking to a lot of people, getting advice. But yeah, this is the this is where we're at. The next step is for the foundation, my foundation company to come, put in the foot-ins. We passed that inspection. We passed the, the slab inspection. And yeah, we can move on with the project. But hopefully I did a good job showing you guys where we're at right now. If you're not following my YouTube channel, please follow my YouTube channel. I really want to teach you guys how to do something similar and how to really create generational wealth. Hey guys, so we passed inspection. I asked my head plumber if he could be on site when the slab is getting reinspected, just so he could coordinate with the inspector and make sure we passed this time around. So the inspector looked over the slab and he said everything looks good and he passed us. The only thing that was left was for my foundation company to come back, dig all their footers, put in all the rebar and put the plastic down. After that was done, I called an inspection and we passed that instantly and we were able to pour concrete. So the slab has been poured. Yeah! We did it. The slab has been poured, but we ran into one issue. My foundation company found a leak in this pipe right here. And that was after we passed the inspection. It's more because I, I, just, I dry already with too many packs yeah. with the hand, but it's somewhere coming out probably from the back or right here. Okay. So I really appreciate my foundation company for doing the due diligence and making sure that everything looked good. I was able to get my plumber back out here and he fixed that pipe and then we're able to pour. So the million dollar question, how much did this pour cost so what do you guys think drop down below how much you think i paid for this slab well let me answer that question for you guys so this slab my 416 square feet slab cost me five thousand dollars just for the slab and for the pour i decided to also pour my front driveway i was gonna hold off because when you're in the building process, a lot of trucks, a lot of machinery is coming back and forth on your driveway. 
so it might not be the best to pour a, a fresh new slab on your driveway but my foundation company gave me a, a great deal so I paid two thousand five hundred for the front and then I paid five thousand for the slab so I paid a total of seven thousand five hundred for my slab pour thank you for watching I really appreciate you guys watching all my videos the next phase of the build will be getting my tiny house framed out and I'm very excited to see the framing process and I'll show you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and just shout out to you guys for caring about what I'm doing in my backyard and just keep watching along. And just all I need from support is just to, for you to subscribe, follow, watch the videos, um, go on my YouTube channel. And yeah, I appreciate it. Have a nice day, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Tom T's out.